My name is Latoya Benali. I am the Nyla Hope Project Coordinator. Nyla Hope stands for Native Youth Leadership Academia. Um, having our plan established, it's a four unit course. The first unit is honoring our elders, or excuse me, honoring our ancestors, honoring our elders, um, future of our generations, and having our plan established. Each of the students um, complete the units and then they get a stipend afterwards as well. We do a grand graduation. It's a three year program. It started in October 2012 to September 2015. We have taken students to the Ponca Pow Wow. We have um, done community service in the Lincoln community as well as the Norfolk and Omaha and Lincoln communities. Um, we've done a leadership conference with the students in Norfolk. We've done um, historical trauma retreats in all three locations as well. My name is Lisa Bickert and I'm the Director of Human Resources at the Ponca Tribe of Nebraska. Uh, we talked about what were the needs of the tribe uh, for youth outside of 18 and above. We started talking about different uh, functions educationally that were important for young Native youth to be able to transition to the next level of employment, which would be college. And so we started exploring what were the needs and we took a look at a lot of the different facts uh, within the Ponca Tribe of Nebraska, like the number of students that were utilizing scholarships, etc. And we determined that the best way was to create a program that was going to assist uh, transition uh, into college, whether that be community college or four-year college before students left high school. Um, the inspiration came based out of a, a model that we used in the job empowerment program, which was small groups, historical trauma, historical healing, and we took that design and, and tried to um, collaborate it with what was in need for, for young Native youth, and that is academics. So we started to take a look at what's, what's happening in the academic world today, and that basically is a lot of education is coming through an online system. So we put some pieces together and said, what do our Native youth need? They need to know where they come from. They need to know who their leaders have been you know, historically so they can connect to understanding how they can move through and be great and better leaders you know, for the future. So we took a gamut of different aspects, small group, uh, the needs of youth that are not living on a reservation, as you all know, uh, with the Ponca tribe, and how to bring the youth together to help them understand who they are as, as the future leaders of, of this particular tribe. Um, I want to be either a marketing manager or a lawyer. Um, I want to be a chef and I want to have my own business. Um, I'm a junior at UNL and I'm going to school for family science and my minor is psychology. My favorite part was probably just all the things that I learned, like learning. It was like right when I started college that I did now hope. So like learning how to do my FAFSA and like writing a resume and all that stuff was the most important. It was probably with Garen and the whole leadership thing there because it was like a great experience for everybody. Um, definitely going to the Ponca Pow Wow last year. I had pretty, a lot of fun. What does leadership mean to you? Um, it means being able to speak up when others can't and being able to be there for people when they need it. Um, to be able to uh, take command of a group, I guess you could say, and um, able to teach them how to work together. Where are you going to go to college? I'm gonna attend high school, Indian Nations University. And I wasn't quite sure what to expect and it was really like the first day I was like oh I'm not talking to no one even though I'm really outgoing and then like those people in the first class became some of my best friends like I still talk to them today and I think I just learned a lot I thought I knew everything about going to school and I didn't need no help but I did actually and it helped me get to where I am now in school I want to go to grad school and become a therapist hopefully and work with kids work with kids um, hopefully kids that like have behavioral issues and need extra attention. Do you feel prepared to go into college? Yes. My name is Suzanne Mueller. I am an enrolled Rosebud Sioux Tribe member, but currently live here in Lincoln, Nebraska. 
Well, I wanted her to gain experience um, with the Ponca tribe to see her interact with other kids, other native kids, because she came from the reservation. She came here to live with me. Um, I wanted her um, to get to meet more natives to feel at home. So this was a great outlet for her. My name is Nyamal Tudel. And what is your position with Nyamal I am a mentor with Nyla Hope. Uh, the most rewarding part of mentoring for me would be just watching them grow from the first class to them graduating. I've always had interest in working with children. Um, I always wanted kids to know that there's more than just hanging out and hanging out with their friends and stuff. I want them to go into school. School was very important with my family, so I always want to make sure that the kids I work with, that school is important. It's, it's helping our youth kids become more confident, um, becoming more proud of who they are, um, because a lot of times um, these young kids, and even as myself growing up, y you were not proud to be Native. My biggest hope is, is that the Nyla Hope program, which that name was actually identified at, through this tribe, the Native Youth Leadership Academy, is something that could continue. You know, at its inception, there is never any other type of program in the state of Nebraska that has addressed meeting the educational and academic needs at the College Level for Transition for Native students. I would hope that we could find a way to keep its best parts, not only within this tribe, I would like to see it um, continued uh, for younger youth that within the tribe uh, and other tribes if possible, but primarily the Ponca tribe to have a pathway to grow for you know, our young students. So, and I'm speaking of as, as young as, as kindergarten, you know, all the way up till their middle school. I'd like to see it continue in some form or fashion. I know that it's always challenging with project money to uh, replace a program because you, know, you have funding that supports that. But we as administrators and coordinators and leaders and directors and everybody else, we need to make that obligation uh, to the members to, to continue when we have a quality program like Nyla Hope. So my greatest hope is, is that it continues in some form or fashion. And as long as I'm here, with the support of you know, council and, and my counterparts, it will always be a passion to continue to see that, that it can move forward you know, for the future leaders of, of the Ponca Tribe of Nebraska. Be proud of who you are and be strong. And um, confidence is a huge thing, I feel, for these kids. Um, they are smart. They're not. They're not dumb. Very intelligent kids. And um, be something. Be somebody. I've seen the students develop greatly. Some come in so shy. They don't talk at all. Too jabbering all the way, all the way to anywhere we go <laughs> for our events or um, just traveling, taking them home. Um, I have seen some students that didn't think they can graduate but they graduated, they're going to college or they're going to school on a regular basis, so they, they've grown a lot. Um, I think she did a good job because she was just really passionate. She didn't just go through the motions, she actually cared about each of the kids and wanted to get to know them and know their passions and stuff, which is I think is really important. She could have just went through the motions, did all the homework assignments, but instead we did group activities and we did team bonding and she was really just interested in getting to know everyone. My proudest moment is graduating the students. Um, I will have four graduations underneath my belts. So I'm pretty excited for this last graduation. Encourage us as Native youth like to that, to give us, um, to just tell us that we're not alone, that we can do, like we don't have to just be set on one thing like, oh you can just do this. like. You can't go any further but like encouraging us to be leaders and to just speak up for ourselves and stuff like that so I thought that was it was really great chance to meet people and um, talk to the important people and tell them what we thought mattered as Native youth. Um, I'd like to thank a and &E for all their help financially and their support throughout the program. I'd like to thank all the program participants for joining in our program as well as their families. i also like to thank all the partners that helped us, so Doan, Education, um, Quest, all the public schools, um, Garen, um, Coons, um, our historical trauma presenter, as well as Caroline Fiscus, our quilt maker, Patty Provost from Sioux City. Um, 
Wells Fargo from all three sites, as well as Ponca Tribe Nebraska for helping us support the program as well. Also, we think it's important to build community, especially tribes that don't have reservations that aren't with natives all the time going into the school to build community with them and really know who we are. Because when we don't know who we are, that's when suicide rates go up and when we get confused with both cultures and just learning how to balance those. me try again <laughs> we're going now don't ask me the dumb questions please wait here I'll tell you what question, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I said that all wrong <sighs> okay let's do this over yeah say it again mm -hmm. Did you have any opportunities like this? I'm today? embarrassed right now. <laughs> <laughs> you so, can you tell us your name? My name is Suzanne Miller. Um, and what is your position in this program? No, you're supposed to say where I'm from. Where are you from? My mama. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to redo that one. That's awesome. <laughs> Yo, mama. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you got your lighting right because you know dark chocolate. <laughs> what? No, I ain't saying nothing. I'm just saying, you know, I, I got issues with my lighting, you know. Why? Because I'm dark chocolate. <laughs> Don't I? Do you normally come with like a butter burger with vanilla? There's a Mac cheese burger. Wait, the Monte Cristo at Cheddar's has the, it's like a purple kind of. No, it doesn't. Oh. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. Stop. <laughs> no, people. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I'd rather you follow me with that than Garen and either. You won't leave me alone. People probably think I'm famous. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about your team. Like, go and describe um, Jaylee. Oh, Jaylee. Well, she's super quiet. Oh my goodness. Yeah, she came in quiet. I didn't talk to her for like three weeks, and I like, well, I tried, but she's just really quiet. So just watching her now, like, just start laughing or just be able to voice her opinions, it's super cool to see like how much she's grown and got comfortable with the whole group. Augustine always talks. <laughs> He's, but he doesn't just talk about anything like if you listen to him like I learn a lot from him He's one of my peers and like just listening to him talk He like he knows what he's talking about and he has passion for everything he talks about So that's really cool to learn from someone that's my own age Isaac. He's my helper He helps me with everything and he just yeah, he's focused and he's driven and he's gonna I mean he starts school this fall and he's super like Passionate ready to just be educated and I love that Portland. <laughs> um, yeah, same with Jaylee. She's super quiet, and I didn't know her that much before the program. Like, I knew who she was, but I didn't know her. And now, like, we've became friends. We've gotten really close, and just watching her grow, yeah, just grow, like, become so much more than just a quiet girl that doesn't talk. Like, she talks now, and she has things to say. It's awesome. Okay, Shayla. Yeah, same with her. So, we're family. I know Shayla, but I didn't know, you know, 
about her that much like just learning what she wants to do in life and just seeing like her, the goals she has is really awesome DJ <laughs> same thing like we're family I should know things and he's super quiet too and just learning like what he is passionate about and seeing him actually talk in a group setting and just grow from the first day to now like he's just grown so much as well yeah uh, give me a DJ impression Oh no, man, I don't know. I'm chill, just chill.